guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Billy Rich Chef. And today you're going to learn how to make butternut squash risotto, parmesan twill, and herb oil. So walk this way, I'll show you how to do it. First, what I've done in advance, I've taken one of the butternut squash, just taken the top part of it, put some in dice, which we're going to blanch in some salty water, and put into the risotto at the end. And then some, which I've cut up, roasted with some olive oil and salt and pepper, which are going to turn into a puree. So what you need for your risotto is one red onion or white onion, some olive oil, two garlic cloves. Start to sweat those up, no colour. Putting here, we're going to throw in the butternut squash. Be careful. The salted water. In goes your butternut squash. We're just going to blanch that now for a few minutes, so it becomes soft. What done is to make the twills. Just take some parmesan, fine grater. I'm just taking a food ring, but you can use whatever you like. Make and then grate it inside the food ring so then you end up with a circle and that becomes your, your twill. Okay? Down here, to make your uh, herb oil, I've taken some dill, a handful, and parsley, blitz it with some olive oil, and let it strain through a fine strainer so you get a nice green oil there. We're going to let, let it strain now whilst we're still cooking the risotto so we get the perfectly green oil at the end. So now, your onion and garlic are sweating down here really nicely in the olive oil. We're now going to add this rice here. This is called arborio rice. You can also use a rice called cannaroli. It's short grain, yeah? And we're going to serve it al dente, so it still have a, has a bite. We're going to go in with a few tablespoons, first of all. What you need is basically the same as you're cooking pasta or rice. Double quantity of liquid. In this case, we're using fresh chicken stock to the carbohydrate. In this case, arborio rice. So, coat and toast your olive oil rice with the olive oil, the garlic, and the red onion. We're going to go with a little pinch of salt, and we're we'll starting to toast it off. You want known colour as well on this, yeah? The risotto there has got no colour, okay, but it's toasted off. So now we're going to slowly, never ever add the stock in one go, then you're boiling it. Tricky risotto is nice and slow. So, a little bit of stock, yeah, and then slowly, 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 you're going to continue to add stock, butter, and parmesan. What you traditionally do is add white wine as well. After you've toasted off the rice and the onions and garlic, you can add white wine. I didn't have any, so I didn't add it, but normally you should do white wine as well. But, what I've done to, to maximise the flavour, okay, I've used the rind of the cheese. If you have a look here, you can see. Use the rind of the parmesan, just chuck that in there. Normally it'll be a waste product, but I'm going to use it to maximise the flavour. The twills, these take an oven of 200, yeah, probably maybe five, six minutes. Now the result is almost ready. Add that blanched butternut. Big tablespoon and a half of the puree. The rest you can use and you can freeze it or use it in another dish. Put it in. So that the rice starts to turn orange from the puree. Okay? You might need to add a little bit more stock. Not too much, but it's died to finish now. Just had a little taste of it. It's almost al dente. Okay. 50 grams of butter, unsalted. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with some fresh parmesan. Grate that off. Got this lovely matte black bowl here from the guys at 765. In our cruise in Dubai, you can find them there. Fantastic product range again. Great, thanks guys for this plate. So, we're going to start obviously with the risotto. Base of the plate. Try to get everything in there. Try to get the par parsley, the chunks of the butter, and, that, and obviously the puree as well. Get off last of all with your herb oil, your dill and parsley oil, yeah? A little bit of that over the top. And that's it. And there you have it. Butternut squash risotto, parmesan twill, and microherbs.